What uh, kind of musicians would benefit from a publicist, or at what point in your career would you recommend that musicians should start working with a publicist? They should start when there's something newsworthy. I, that mm -hmm. sounds like a tautological answer, and it kind of is, but you know, is it news? Um, what, if it's a major career milestone, or potentially one, uh, a big commission for a composer, um, a high-profile venue uh, feature or performance for an ensemble or an artist, um, a recording project, perhaps combined with one of those things, or an initiative that is newsworthy for creativity and programming and imagination. Ideally, you'll have elements of multiple things to work with. Mm -hmm. We look for a concentration of newsworthy events and uh, ideas all together in a span of time before we'll say yes to working with um, a client. If there's just not enough going on, we'll send them away and say, come back. You know, uh, I mean, we have said no to some very distinguished artists simply because we didn't feel there was a story to tell right at that moment. Um, on the other hand, there's artists we work with around the clock, uh, around the year, and you know those types of relationships that'll be lulls and busy periods. But overall, there's so much that you need to be on the case all the time. So there's two different ways of working. There's project work, which is short term, maybe a few months, and then there's retainer, where you're doing everything or you're doing a long term project that could be a year contract and. So when do you approach a publicist? When you feel that there's really something that is going to justify what can be a fairly substantial investment mm -hmm. you know, in raising your profile and that it's newsworthy.